IoT device manufacturers keep making security mistakes. This is one from a little while back. It's a Swan home security camera. Now our interest was piqued by another story involving Swan home cameras showing the wrong people's footage. So we then bought some and started looking at these and discovered it had a major authorization flaw. Now authorization, that's when you're making a request but not checking that it's the right camera making the right request. And my colleague, Andrew Tierney, Cyber Gibbons and team, started looking at various cameras and realized the only way these were being authorized to the cloud platform was simply through their serial number, their device ID. And that meant you could quite easily pull the device ID off the, off the camera, switch it and see a feed from another camera. Now to prove this, we asked permission from our friend Scott Helm and also professional Alan Woodward. They both had these two. And we said, hey, could we have your serials and see if we can access your data feed? And they said, yes. And we discovered that Scott's got way better Lego than us, but that's a whole other story. Now, the problem was, there was a third party behind this providing the cloud platform, a company called Ausvision. And they weren't doing authorization properly. In fairness, Swan were really good. They got straight back to us, got straight on the vulnerability, got the third party to fix it really quickly. But what was very frustrating is we discovered another vulnerability in another camera brand using the same cloud platform that looked like it had a similar vulnerability nine months earlier. It doesn't look like that third party took any action, which was a real shame. Now, don't worry, these have been fixed. The bug was resolved. But our team started going a little bit deeper and discovered additional security problems that have been resolved in later firmware. But for example, you could extract the user's Wi-Fi password from the camera. So if it's outside the house, you could join their Wi-Fi network. And you could also get a persistent root shell on it. But don't worry, that has been fixed now. Now, these are great devices. The vulnerability has been fixed. The vendor listened. But we still keep finding bugs in not dissimilar products even today. So my advice, Go and follow the standards in Etsy 303645 and do make sure you're compliant with IoT regulation. There's some great examples you can follow on our website. And do also bear in mind that regulation is getting more robust. So if you're developing products like this, make sure they comply with the law.